In this video, I'm going to talk about horizontal versus vertical equity in economics. So the basic idea here is that horizontal equity means treating people who are similar alike, not treating someone completely different for some stupid arbitrary reason. Whereas vertical equity is really about redistributive uh, equity. It's about taking perhaps money from people at the top and giving it to money at the people at the bottom to sort of squish the distribution to reduce inequality. Um, but it doesn't just have to do with money because, of course, we have the word regressive to capture um, regressive and progressive, where progressive tax systems capture sort of the movement of resources from the top to the bottom. But vertical equity could have to do with things that have nothing to do with money, such as opportunities or health, where if you sort of line people up from those with the most opportunities or those with the highest health, and if there are policies that can sort of channel resources or channel opportunities toward people with less, then that is going to improve vertical equity. Now horizontal equity has a classic example here, which is you have two janitors, they're the exact same age, they make the same wage, but one of those janitors works for a large company that has access to really high quality healthcare because that large company was able to negotiate the healthcare based on a highly educated pool of workers and based on some legal advantages that make it easier for large employers to negotiate with insurers. And the other janitor who makes the same amount, who looks identical to the janitor at the large company, this janitor works for a small company without access to good health insurance. So even though those people are alike, horizontally they're similar, the law gives one of them access to health care in a way that is much more supportive than the other. And that's an example of a violation of horizontal equity. So this can be a really useful way of distinguishing between different types of injustice in systems. And of course, when I learned these, the way they were described was so misleading. Um, the way horizontal equity was described, of course, is treating like people alike. But the way vertical equity was described was treating unlike people differently. And that's just, that's not what it means. That, that's a very misleading way of describing it. Um, but yeah, I think redistributive equity is a much better way of describing vertical equity. So super useful concepts, especially in classes like healthcare economics, but many other econ courses where you're analyzing different types of policy will employ these two concepts. 